everybody, Signe here. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well uh, out there in lockdown. I think Gen and I are doing, doing pretty good, all things considered. Um, we're really lucky that uh, as everything started shutting down, we were just getting started here at a new studio. Oye Studios is the name of our new facility. And uh, we're just enjoying ourselves here and kind of settling in and getting to know our new fellows. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today. Um, I'm missing being out on the circuit really terribly and missing the art fair life. And I've had some thoughts about that. And uh, one thing that I really wanted to share with you guys is that a big part of what we're missing is our fellows, our art fair fellows. And I think one of the main reasons that uh, we love attending the shows, um, not just that we get to meet you and that we get to show our work and we get to have interactions with, with people about our work, but we get to know the other artists that we're at the fairs with and we have the opportunity to collect them and to know them. And I think that getting to know the artists and getting to know them personally and to interact with them personally it is one of the very special things about doing art fairs that you get to have that one-on-one -on -one relationship um, with an artist and to learn about them. Uh, I think it's an interesting question whether or not that should be important to how you interact with the work or not, but I think for me it really um, brings a whole other layer or element to our collection to, to know the artists. So what I wanted to talk to you about today, and I, I would like to do kind of like a series of these little talks over the next couple weeks, is I would like to introduce you to some of the, the artists on the circuit with us that are people that we collect and that we have also come to know and love as people. And so um, today I want to talk to you about my friend Daryl Thetford. Uh, so Daryl is someone we've known in the art fairs for years and years now. It's been probably, it could be 15 or more years that we've known Daryl. I'm not going to say a ton about Daryl's work because if you're interested, I really would like you to go out and take a look for yourself and, you know, see in his own words how he speaks about his work. His work is predominantly digital and he would call it, I think, like layered photo collage. So the end result of his work, even though it's entirely digital, reads as a painting. But every layer that's incorporated into the piece is a photograph that he's taken. So what I would like to tell you about Daryl that, that you might not know from just reading about his process and, and his CV on his website is that Daryl is a really exemplary friend and exemplary just person in general. Um, he is such a good friend that I would say that Genna and I both consider him to be one of our best friends, like in each of us as individual people. We went on a 15-day uh, road trip through Mexico two winters ago with Daryl, and Genna was the um, organizer and instigator of this trip, and by the end of it, Daryl and I had dubbed it the um, But Did You Die? tour, so that's the name of Genna's uh, tour company, the But Did You Die tour. Daryl is such a good friend that I think he was entirely sleep deprived by the end of that trip because he would stay up late every night with Genna, um, talking with Genna, and Genna likes to be kind of like the last one at the bar. He never wants the party to be over. So every night he was up with Genna, but then every morning he would get up very early with me and do like Jungian dream analysis about the dreams I'd had the night before and, and chat with me. And so in his, in his generosity of friendship, um, I think it was a very long and probably very tiresome <laughs> trip for, for Daryl. Um, but that is the kind of person that he is. He's just a very, very generous and kind person and friend. I want to say that one thing that I think that I have learned from Daryl um, from being at shows with him for years and years and also being his friend is that for those of us who do art fairs and, and set up on the side of the street essentially and try to sell our work, there is this need you know, to be making things that are not easy for people to live with, but work that has to be accessible and that people want to interact with. 
But I really have learned from Daryl that also we are artists and it's really important that our work have gravitas. And um, it's interesting because that's the word that kept coming up for me as I was thinking about Daryl and thinking about Daryl's work. And when I Googled it this morning, gravitas, um, it says means dignity, seriousness, and solemnity of manner. Even though we need our work to be accessible, it's, it's also very important that we take our work very seriously and that it have heart and meaning and soul and spirit. Uh, and that is a thing that, that I feel like Daryl has taught me. So anyway, you should really go and check out Daryl's work. Uh, again, DarylThetford.com, D-A-R-Y-L-T-H-E-T-F-O-R-D.com. And you can see him on Instagram at Daryl Thetford. And that's all. I will introduce you to another of my Art Fair fellows next week. Love you guys. Take care.